now the same patient in left ventricular cubitus posture and I am going to scan the kidney, right kidney and this is my view of the ultrasound scan in this patient. This maybe I will have to move the probe as you know how to perform the renal ultrasound. Now let's see on the In this section, you are seeing a few cystic areas. Okay, let's first study these two cystic areas. <coughs> number one, and this is number two. This is the kidney, outer capsule of the kidney. This is the cortex. And what about this cystic area? What about this cystic area? Is this a pyramid or a cyst? Is this a pyramid or a cyst? Is this a pyramid or a cyst in the parenchyma? Because there is one cyst in the upper core, cystic area, and then there is another one in the posterior medullary region, uh, upper pole uh, medullary region, anterior region, and then there is a cyst. Uh, at the upper pole, this area. Now the question is, are these dilated calyces? Are these pyramids or are these cystic areas, medullary cysts? What are these? We have to differentiate between these three structures. Now you see that uh, the questions are three. Are these dilated calyces? These one, or are these uh, uh, pyramids, dilated pyramids, or are these cysts, renal cysts, medullary cysts? Because they are in the medullary region, the cortex is seen anterior to them, which is uh, normal in thickness. Now the thing is that you see that there is no hydronephrosis. First of all. There is no uh, galactesia of the calyces. There is, uh, and, there, and the apples are relatively fine. This is the central sinus echocomplex. Now this, this area is triangular. This is rounded. This is rounded. This is again triangular. This is almost de deformed, but almost rounded. This is rounded. So again, no hydronephrosis. Had this been a calycial dilation, there would have been hydronephrosis also. So at times we do see isolated uh, calycial dilation, but in that case the calycial dilation will not be seen at upper pole, at mid region, at lower pole we saw. So these are not at least calluses, dilated calluses are ruled out. Second point are these uh, the pyramids. Now as you know that the pyramids are not that big as uh, large as you are seeing. Rather this is the pyramid, this is the pyramid and this is the cystic area. Now this is the pyramid. The another uh, differentiation of a pyramid is that it is bounded anteriorly by a, a tiny structure which is the arcuate vessel. Uh, in my normal study, I have uh, I stressed upon that many times. You see now, this is a cyst. No, this is a pyramid. You see a tiny 
ecogenic area at its anterior margin. This is the pyramid. Then this ecogenic area are the arcuate vessels. They shine, they appear as you have seen. Okay. So these are these areas, the cystic areas are not pyramids. लंबा साल ऐसे साल होते हैं, लंबा साल, लंबा साल, बोको, नो, नाउ यू सी दिस इज अ पिरामिड विद अ वेस्टर, ओके, साली बोस, दिस इज अ पिरामिड एस यू कैन सी आर टू एट वेस्टर so the second option or differential has been ruled out. Thus, these are in fact medullary thin wall cystic areas, simple with no uh, calcification and, and it are internally clear of any internal echoes. There is system number one, two, three. This is another system four. Is not the calculus, this is an R2 vessel. Okay. Now let me show you what is uh, wrong in the parenchyma. A little manipulation is required to see this. However, uh, now this is the kidney. Now I'm only going to focus the parenchyma and you will see multiple tiny ecogenic areas in the current time of the kidney. This is a starry kidney, isn't it? With few tiny cystic areas still being seen. See, these starry, these this ecogenicity is this is an ecogenicity stars like appearance of the parenchyma these are calcifications in the <coughs> parenchyma along with uh, the cysts and this is very much consistent with medullary sponge kidney since the now so we are going to study the left kidney with patient in left peripheral decubitus posture. Here we go. Now this is uh, the patient is in the right peripheral decubitus posture, and uh, I will be scanning in this position, going upwards, manipulating the probe as per my requirement show you the pathology. Now, okay, let's see. Sadhara is What we are getting uh, in the Aistasadhara. Again, this is a relative, uh, this is a magnified view of the Aistasadhara. Uh, and you can see that there, uh, there are cysts again same one two in the medallion region this is the cortex and the cortex thickness is normal 7.4 this is again a cyst this is a cyst Now see 
this is the pyramid. Tiny, this is a cyst, 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 this is a cyst. This is a cyst. Now, now in this, even in this view you can see that the central sinus seco complex is rather muffled and uh, you can see uh, this is small tiny cyst. This is the middle uh, pyramid, not this is. And this is the, these are the cysts. And you can see calcifications as bright echogenic tiny structures within the central sinus echo complex as well as in the parenchyma. This is the these echogenicities are in within the central sinus echo complex. And this finding is also now let's see the parenchyma only. Again you will see the starry appearance of the parenchyma. These stars are due to the calcifications within the parenchyma. These, these, all these, these are calcifications, tiny calcifications within the parenchyma of the kidney. Again, consistent with medullary spawn kidney. So this is how a metallary spawn kidney appears as and it is usually a bilateral condition for which the differential diagnosis uh, will include uh, 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 and we should rule out granulomatous disorders, renal tubular acidosis, milk alkyl syndrome and uh, parathyroid disease. Uh, and it can be idiopathic as well. So these, uh, this, 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 these patients should be evaluated.